name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel. Appreciate everybody watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below, leave your Ethereum address or Bitcoin address for a cold storage coin. I'm going to be giving away at 100 subscribers and 150 subscribers uh, for Bitcoin or Ethereum. But leave your address so I can uh, send you $20 at the 100 subscriber giveaway so you guys can actually put some money, uh, crypto, on the actual coin if you want. Um, and if not, you know, at least you have an extra 20 bucks you guys can play with on the market. So moving right into it here, uh, cryptocurrency, $289 billion right now in the coin market cap. Everything is taking a, a dive now. And uh, if you've been watching my last couple videos, you know, I've been going over some uh, what some analysts have been staying on Steemit. And uh, this is kind of exactly what they're saying. So we're going to go over that today real quick uh, in a quick video here. So Fam Unger, OK, I've been um, he has like a family of analysts opinions that they that he goes through and then they all post on here. Um, and I've been really watching them and really watching what they've been saying as far as the resistance lines. Um, you know, if we close over this, this is we're still going to be on an upward trend and so on and so forth. So let's move into that just real quick. So their bull scenario that they're talking about saying if we're in a bull scenario, this is what needs to happen. So after completing five waves up, we reconfirm 7000 plus level and an ABC pullback gathering strength for another move up. So that's basically what's happening now is it's going back down into the 7000 range, somewhere in 7000 plus. And that's, you know, very vague, but. I mean, we'll get into the per analyst a little bit, but very vague. It's going to be in the 7,000 plus level as an ABC pullback because we went so just, you know, on a nice, um, I would say like 60, 70 degree angle up. It can't sustain on an angle like that. Um, and I've been saying this for the past couple of videos and it's starting to come to fruition here um, on, on, you know, the pullback here. But again, it's not 100 percent, you know, but the probability is, is what he's saying in this bull scenario possibility is that it looks like we're more in a possibility for bull than we are in a bearish scenario but the bearish could possibly happen as well as we're doing this pullback it could get away from us based on volume okay our volume i mean ethereum was you know at 3 billion and now it's at 1.6 bitcoin was at 7 billion and now it's at 4.8 and it's taken a dump so if our volume doesn't really really you know this is kind of what it's saying as well it kind of reiterates what i think um, if the volume doesn't sustain and keep sustained, we're going to go into that bearish scope. And that bearish scenario doesn't look pretty. You know, it, it's going to be a short term, I believe, bearish if we, ever, if we do go bearish. But if it goes down to bearish, this is what we're looking at here. Um, breaking 5,800. If we break 5,800, it's going to go down to 4,900, 4,300. Um, uh, we move it one to two week into the death cross. And, you know, we still could, after an ABC correction, still go into a death cross and uh, at around 8,500, then drop significantly. It's kind of what we've already done. We didn't really get up to, I guess we did get up to 800, 8,500 at one point. So, you know, again, we're still possibly in a scenario like that. So just moving a little forward into actually what the analysts say. So we kind of get a little more focused into what the picture they're saying. And I'll show you some graphs, kind of what they're saying as well. Lord of Truth. Okay, these are kind of the, the guys that are highlighted here. These are the guys that he uses or, you know, they um, put down, put their stuff, uh, opinions, analyst opinion on this steaming. Lord of Truth, slightly bullish. So target 86.42. We have a uh, support line at 76.50. Uh, two support at 8,000, which we've already broke. And uh, resistance at 86.42, resistance at 9,000. So 76.50 to 86.42 is kind of what we're looking at right now with the target of 86.42. Trade Devil, 8,800 is his target. 77.72 uh, with the resistance level at 8,800. So it, it's mostly bullish is kind of what everybody's still saying, that they are all in uh, with, with saying that it's bullish. Um, so still with this e, at EW and patterns bullish, I, I kind of mentioned this guy yesterday. It's the same graph as yesterday, and he just reiterates he still suspects it's going to stay in the blue wave. All right. Um, hit the 3162 line, which is a on this um, incline corridor, I guess, is get, basically what it is. It's a corridor, um, but they turn it into a Fibonacci, so to speak, uh, on that angle, 45 degree angle. So. Um, on that 3162 line, um, let's kind of look into it too. So here, so on this 3162 line up here, it, that's where 
he's basically saying that we did a correction and we pretty much did. We kind of got up into here and now it's doing the correction a little bit before ahead of time of what he was saying. So he's saying that it's going to be 7,500 to 7,400 would be a reasonable target for the blue wave, which is right there, number four, right there on the blue wave, 7,500, 74, somewhere around there. Do, do I believe that? He, he was off a little bit on his numbers, so I believe his numbers are, gonna, are, are a little low um, if we're still on a bullish you know, uh, market. So just keep that in mind. If you guys are looking in for somewhere to buy, uh, in for some, for some more Bitcoin, um, might be it might be around that area might be um let's look into what passion ground okay he's neutral uh, we are we're extremely overbought rsi is, is showing divergence against those uh, those highs the four hour candles that tells him we need to pull back some for uh, some time if we do so he would like to see that the uptrend channel holds so in this scenario he's saying he wants the upward channel to hold. Let's see which one was it. Oh, I guess it was this one. So, yeah, and you know, let's just open it up and see what it looks like here. Yeah. So in this scenario, he's saying that he wants it to keep it in this in that channel, that forty-five degree uh, Fibonacci retracement channel. As long as it stays in this channel, then he's not really worried that it's going to go down and go uh, underneath in that channel. Man, that's like down to like the 7,000 level at this point um, and then keeps going up from there. So if it stays in this channel, then he's basically saying it's going to stay in the uptrend um, with this ABC correction that we're in, quote unquote, in right now. So um, do I believe a lot of this that they're saying? And actually, you know, doing my own um, uh, technical uh, analysis on this, that they're pretty much spot on. With the numbering as far as when it's going to bottom, no one can ever tell you when it's going to bottom. But they are giving you some good roundabout um, areas of numbers. So I would say between, you know, 74 and 7,800. And we've already broke the 7,800 line, so we're almost. So, um, you know, we're almost at that line. So this Fibonacci, where is it? Yeah, this Fibonacci is pretty, pretty good. And um, let's see. He ex this trade devil's... He's bullish. So he expects us to go up another leg. The current retracement will go to 77.72, which is about 100 bucks away now. And that's at the 382 line, which is supporting at that 382 line um, down here. So let's see where 382 line. Sorry, 382 line right here. So yeah, um, he's saying that it's going to drop down underneath that support line and then come on down to this 618 line, I believe is what he was trying to say. Uh, current retracement will go to 77, 83, 2, and then going up at that wave to the 236. So, again, his numbers are off, I think, a little bit at 77, 72, because um, we're, we're just on a huge downtrend right now. But we shall see in the next couple hours. You know, these are, again, these guys are using four hour candles for the most part. So, um, we shall see on that one. This one was an interesting one uh, with Crypto Cred. He's bullish. Okay. Price reached yesterday's target. What now? So they're actually correct in every, can most of the things that they were saying yesterday. And uh, so he's, he's favoring a retracement. Price spiked in, into liquidity and closed below buyers. Buyers were trapped. Absolutely right on that one. And I'll show you that one. This buyer's trap right here. I mean, when you're in there and you're in a new, you know, a new high, basically, because basically liquidity cleaned the high. They cleaned up the highs there. So new everything that went over that line or in, around that line is a new high. So, um, you know, that's uh, new money coming in, buyer's trap, okay? Basically, everybody's waiting for new money to come in so they can cash out and make more money on it. It's just the way the stock market works, especially in a day trading basis. So, uh, untested SR levels at 75.40. Uh, red low must hold to maintain overall bullish structure. Wrong if closed through 7.8K. So, he's basically saying if we go under the 7.8, and, and we don't hold that red low. If it goes under, um, where was that red low? This low right here. If it goes under that low that we've already had before, right after that big spike air gap there, and it goes under it, we're not going to be in the bullish market anymore is what he's saying. And that's like 7,200, I think, is what he was saying. No, 7.8K is what he's saying. So, um, yeah, uh, see, a little, a little convoluted in kind of what they say sometimes. So I kind of have to try to clean it up. Um, and 
hopefully make this a little bit more sense to everybody coming down the line. So let's see, four fro flies, last but not least. What means what means last pullback? You know, is this the last pullback before it goes up? No, there's always gonna be an ABC correction as we're going up through the stair, uh, stair step ladder. Uh, we still might be in a bull trap, but we are making higher lows and higher highs. That's true. Looking at the degree, we are not in a sustainable uptrend. So that's kind of what he's saying, the degree of the level going up, we're past that 45 degree angle. We're up at like 60, 70 degree. We can't sustain that, especially with the volume that we're having right now. And, and he's completely right on that point. Um, at least in my opinion, not a financial advisor, please do your own research, but at least this hopefully gives you guys a little bit more of a, of a feel on many, many different technical analysis that they're still all kind of bullish, uh, regardless. So, uh, very small movements, the downtrend, uh, to the downside are turned into crash scenarios easily. He's believing that is not true. So that's, that's a good thing to see that he's, so even though we're in that area, he doesn't believe it's going to happen. So 8,500 rejected us, and we're going down since then. So he assumes that sellers are exhausted, and now we go up. Pattern looks like a failing, a falling wedge, which is a con continuation pattern that needs to be confirmed by decreasing volume. You know, so he, he's right. So if we get decreasing volume, then that's when. And this is all Bitcoin. It has nothing to do with any other coin. So volume is not good at the moment, dropped to 17 billion total. Um, so the higher we go, we need to see higher volume, which it, it is not doing at the moment. So he's right, you know, at least on that point, I, I agree with him on that. And let's look at his little wave schedule here. I mean, these are all EMAs, you know, he's using on very, very small terms, 21, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, and then the 200 underneath here. So he's using all those waves to scale and it's barely just hitting that first 21. You know, it's not a 20 EMA, 21 EMA. So um, it's not breaking, come, you know, dramatically down. It's now what's going to happen now, you know what I mean, uh, with all these EMAs. Um, so we shall go from there. But I did want to just show everybody that Fam Unger and his uh, little team of analysts is a pretty good overall way of looking at things. Again, they're not always right. So that's why I always double check what they say. But today, yesterday, they were pretty much spot on and everything. So kudos to you guys. I appreciate um, the information, but I still have to research it to double check it. So can't trust everything that you see. Last but not least, Crypto Fear and Greed Index, 53, 40, 54 yesterday. So we went down one and because we're on this now downtrend, obviously our Fear and Greed Index is probably gonna go down on the 40s now. So what comes up must come down, unfortunately. It just hopefully it doesn't come down crashing is what we're all kind of hoping and you know for the most part on a technical analysis of people that actually i have researched i actually feel a little bit more confident about it and we're in that time anyways where we need to go moving up so you guys have a great day and night my name is crypto dog to the rescue please like subscribe hit the bell comment below and you guys have a great night keep up the grind